Hello there. Thanks for joining us. This is Just Nigeria. Coming up on the program, feminism in Nigeria. Women turn up the volume on equality regardless of gender. It is not about deconstructing patriarchy, then bringing in matriarchy. Feminism is a very simple word. Maybe if you want to leave, it, leave out the word feminism, please change it to humanism. Also, signs for change. The ladies empowering young people to embrace technology, engineering, and mathematics. And saved at birth. A new drone initiative keeping mother and child alive. Plus. My name is Wendy Okolo. I'm an aerospace research engineer by day, a fitness enthusiast in the evening, and an inspiring DJ in my head at night. Check me out. The aeronautics engineer supporting tech startups to become global brands. Welcome to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV, where we bring you the stories being liked, shared, and tweeted about by the social media generation. I'm Ajoke Hulotse. To our top story this week. As we celebrate the role of women in our society with the theme, Each for Equal, conversations on social media remain divided about equal rights and equal responsibilities. So what does feminism mean to you? In this story, Just Nigeria's Christiana Ijogu examines very thoughts on feminism and how this influenced choices we make. A male should never judge a female. Why can't a woman from where I come from inherit her father's property? Men and women should enjoy equal rights as human beings. Our women should focus more on doing what they need to do to express themselves and have the freedom that they need to have in order to succeed in politics, in business, even in the home. Women discussing women's issues, one of them, their rights. I've encountered quite a few in various situations talking about feminism. But each time I listened, I hear them interpreting the concept differently. Feminism that someone who is abused practice is different from someone who lived a life of privilege, is different from someone who's working in nine to five and has a boss that is, you know, terrorizing her. I have chosen not to have that um, terminology surrounding anything I do in my life. Say I am a feminist because I look at the world through the prism of Islam and what it represents for womanhood. Yes, I am a feminist because I care about my own self and I care about my own kind. I consider myself a feminist to a large extent. I am not a feminist, but I've always managed to unlock all the potentials that are available to me. Opinions are always divided about feminism. For some, it's about gender equality by all means necessary. And for others, it's about projecting the powers of a woman. But what exactly does feminism mean? Well, for me, feminism is, goes back to the original definition of feminism, which is equality, political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Feminism is creating equal opportunity for male and female children. Let it be a level playing ground for every human being. Feminism to me simply means fighting for my rights. Feminism to me is what God says. We're equal to men, but not the same. To me, it simply means caring about what is female. The definition of feminism may be quite clear in the dictionary, but how it's perceived on the streets appears different. So, how do we clear the confusion? Let's begin from what feminism is not. It's not a gender war. Um, it's rather asking to be seen, asking to be equal. Women want to be almost like men because they feel that is what it means to be feminist and it is not. It is not about deconstructing patriarchy, then bringing in matriarchy. If the never-ending arguments on social media do not reflect all the sides of what feminism is, what then does it entail? When we talk about feminism, I feel equal rights should be the first thing. So women have been exploited, women have been cheated. We want to raise them to the status and the level of men. 
not create an imbalance where they become the oppressor. The principle of Feminism 101 is to understand the fact that feminism is opposed to marginalization. Feminism is about voice and participation. If you're paying a man on a particular skill level this amount of money, if there's a woman on the same skill level, she should be paid you know, the same amount of money irrespective of what their gender is. So, from all these opinions, if the idea of feminism seems quite straightforward, why the varying thoughts in the first place? There's no confusion here. I think people who believe they are confused, they need to unconfuse themselves. Because feminism is a very simple word. Maybe if you want to leave, it, leave out the word feminism, please change it to humanism. Just be a human being. Is this consistent development within our people, especially our women, where you find that even though some of us are actually expressing a need to balance the inequality, you find that a lot of us think it is the opportunity to take over. We must be able to link feminism with the reality of today, so that when a young person is coming into understanding feminism, can see herself within the conversation of feminism. Feminism is not an alienation, and it's not a, an ideology that does not deal with others. It's an open ideology that allows for conversation. Not minding what side of the debate you stand, is the dream of every parent to see their children succeed, both male and female. You're a feminist, if you treat your girl child, you expose her to the same opportunities you expose your son to. You are a feminist if you treat your woman at home as a partner in the marriage institution. You are a feminist if you look at the world and see the woman beside you as a helper and not a competition or, or an object of um, dominance in the world because at the end of the day we are all here on a journey that we are just making the best of each and every day and the more cooperation we have between the genders the easier it will be for all of us to get through this um, better. In Nigeria as of today we have about nine states that have passed that same law to address you know gender-based violence and this were work that were done by feminist organization in Enugu, feminist organization in Kaduna and in other places. So to that extent we say it, it is not very visible but it is moving gradually. There are things that um, the women of this generation can do that our mothers couldn't do, our grandmothers couldn't do. We've seen things like the Sex for Great um, um, and documentary, we've seen things like Market Match, right? Years ago these are things that would have been unheard of. The girl, the woman, is the one who nurtures and who raises the next generation. And God never gets it wrong, really. So, if anything at all, we all should be feminist. It is clear that feminism is not about gender war or gender oppression. It's about equity. Giving the girl child the same opportunities as the boy child. Real development cannot happen when half our population is educated and the other is not because of gender. Creating a playing field for all human beings to thrive, irrespective of gender, should be our collective goal. Indeed, an equal world is an enabled world. Let's all continue to strive for a balance.